Hey friends, I've been raising chickens for eggs for over 13 years, and I've learned a few things along the way. And today I want to share with you five myths that people have about chicken eggs. And stick around to the end because I have a bonus that I want to share with you as well. Myth number one, I hear it all the time. Don't you have to have a rooster in order to get eggs? You don't have to have a rooster in order to get eggs. Chickens on average lay about one egg every day and a half. Whether you have a rooster or not, you're gonna get eggs from your laying hens. Now, what you need a rooster for is if you want to fertilize the eggs but the hens will lay eggs whether they're fertilized or not. The fresh eggs that you get from your chickens are gonna be some of the best that you've ever had. Myth number two, brown eggs taste different than white eggs. That's a myth. There's absolutely no noticeable difference between eggs based purely on the color of the eggshell. It's just simply that some breeds give brown eggs and some breeds give white eggs. But if they have been eating the same food, drinking the same water, then the eggs are gonna taste virtually indistinguishable. The only difference that causes a difference in, in the way an egg tastes is what the chicken has been eating. Myth number three, all eggs start with life in them. Only fertilized eggs have life in them. So. If you have had a rooster who was breeding with your chickens, there's not going to be anything in there that's alive. It's just an unfertilized egg. Even with eggs that have been fertilized, if you have a rooster and has been breeding with your hens, uh, you're not really usually going to be able to tell a difference. Usually what happens is that chickens will breed with a rooster. They will save up their eggs until they have a whole clutch, maybe five or six eggs, and then they will sit on them. So if you're collecting your eggs every day, then there's not gonna be any way that you're gonna notice a difference between a fertilized egg and an unfertilized egg. The only possible problem that you might have is if, you have not, if your chickens have bred with a rooster and you haven't collected those eggs for a week and the hen starts sitting on them. When the hen starts sitting on the eggs that have been fertilized, then the temperature change, the warmth of her body, activates the embryos inside the fertilized eggs and they begin to develop. So not all eggs start with life inside them. That's a myth. Myth number four, you have to keep your eggs refrigerated in order for them to be safe for eating. That's a myth, absolutely not true. There is actually on an egg a bloom it's a coating on the outside egg. It's invisible to the eye, but as long as you do not wash it off by washing your eggs, then the coating on the outside of the egg keeps any bacteria from outside the egg from getting inside the egg, which means you don't have to refrigerate the eggs. You can keep them on your counter for several days, for even several weeks, before you have to worry about any problems. Now, we always collect our eggs. We put the date on the shell. We write it on the shell with a pencil so we know exactly when the egg was laid. And that way we can tell how old it is and we try to eat our eggs before they would go bad. If you want to make your eggs last for a long time, up to six months, you can put your eggs in the refrigerator but we always eat our eggs or give them away before we have any concerns about that. If you put your eggs in the refrigerator, once they have been refrigerated, they must remain refrigerated. You can't take them out and warm them back up to room temperature. And the reason is because 
the change in temperature from cold refrigerator temperatures back to room temperature can cause condensation on the outside of the egg and that condensation is water and it can erode the bloom the coating that is around the outside of the egg and that can allow bacteria now from the outside atmosphere to permeate into the egg on the inside so number one you don't have to refrigerate your eggs number two don't wash them just keep them on the counter number three if you refrigerate them keep them in the refrigerator and don't pull them out myth number five raw eggs are better for bodybuilders than cooked eggs that's a myth why is it that bodybuilders and people who work out it usually tends to be uh, big manly macho kind of men you're gonna drink a glass or even a pitcher of raw eggs now eggs are a good source of protein but it doesn't matter that they're raw if they're cooked they're still a good source of protein uh, so there's really no benefit in drinking a raw egg over eating a cooked one you're still going to get the same nutritional value i guess it just has sort of a i don't know a manlier kind of feel to it that you're going to drink that raw egg i don't know it's not for me if you like raw eggs knock yourself out but be sure that you're eating raw eggs that are fresh because the older they get the more likely it is that they might have some kind of contamination or something in them so speaking of that how long can you keep eggs research shows that unwashed eggs kept in the refrigerator can be kept for up to three months if they're in an egg carton or if they're in an airtight container they can last up to six months so eggs last a long time the eggs that you buy in the grocery store may actually be already be up to a month old because it takes time for the eggs to be collected on the farm and then packaged into packages and processed and shipped to the egg distributors and then to ship from there to the grocery store so it's a it's a, it's a process to get the eggs from the farm into the grocery store and then once they're in the grocery store they may stay in the grocery store for uh, several weeks before you actually buy them that's why the eggs that you buy in the grocery store tend to taste less fresh than the ones you get when you're raising chickens yourself because those eggs are absolutely fresh how can you find out if your eggs are still fresh is a very simple method that anybody can do it's called the float test we're going to take an egg and we're going to put it in a glass of water just regular old tap water because eggs are airtight there is no air inside the egg or very little air inside the egg which means the egg will sink to the bottom of a glass of water however over time as the coating on the outside of the egg begins to degrade <clears throat> more and more air will begin to go in through the shell inside the egg and the more air is inside the egg the more likely it is to float so if you simply will test your egg by putting it in a glass of water if it sinks to the bottom it is a fresh egg if it floats to the top the egg is old it doesn't necessarily mean that it is no longer edible it just means that it is not very fresh it's a very simple test to help you determine if your egg is fresh or not and that makes me think about a question is your faith fresh hebrews 11:1 1 says faith shows the reality of what we hope for it is the evidence of things we cannot see how fresh is your faith or has your faith become stale have you forgotten all that god has done for you and you're beginning to worry about struggles that you might have in your life or anxiety about things that might happen there's always opportunities for us to have anxiety we never know there's so much that's unknown in the world 
But when our faith is fresh, we are trusting in Jesus because he's never going to leave us or forsake us. He is the creator of the universe. He has the power to take care of any problems that we have. And he loves us unconditionally. We know that because he gave his life for us on the cross. And he is all-knowing, which means he has the wisdom to tackle any problem that we have. So if Jesus is on our side and he's taking care of us, what do we have to worry about? Why do we have all this anxiety? It's because our faith has become stale. We've forgotten that Jesus is there for us and he's going to take care of us. Even if something goes wrong, even in the trials of life, even in the difficulties, that's what fresh faith tells us. But when our faith grows stale, we begin to forget all that God has already done for us and that he will be there for us no matter what. And we begin to think that it's all upon us. It's resting on our shoulders that we've got to do something to make things happen. And that if we can't, because we know that we are weak and we are frail and we don't know. And sometimes we just are lost in the situation. But it's not up to us. Our fresh faith tells us it's up to Jesus. So what do you need to do this week to help make sure your faith stays fresh? I challenge you to do what it takes. Spend time with the Lord, walking with him, thanking him remembering all that he's done for you. Go back and think of through your life of all the ways that God has taken care of you and be encouraged so that your faith will be fresh. And then let's get out there and let's grow and be fruitful.